in the community that will bring them down. Well, um, there, the words that people hear, it comes through different music, even poems, and, um, and even the TV shows that we watch. And those words will tell us in terms of, you have some communities that they will more speak about, um, say, racism or classism. And you grow up thinking that, you know, I'm not as good as the other person. And um, you start looking at your physical appearance or even your financial status. And those words are telling you that you cannot achieve it. You are not too good. Or you're in your family, there is nobody successful in your family, so you are not going to make it. Those are different words that children will hear, adults will hear, and it will cause them not to walk in their goal and their dreams in life. That's correct, right? Because you see everybody in your community doing, going to the You see, all schools are not equal. All schools are not equal. So let's put that out there. But when you see in the community all your friends are going to just the school down the road, and they're just coming out and doing the wrong things. But when you want to see, now guess what? Can I go to that school uptown? Or can I go to that school overseas? Or can I go to that school in the country? Wherever that good school is, somebody will be there to tell you, no, you can't. Because no good thing comes from where you are. Yes, I was brought up. But in a house, where my father would tell me, can't is a bad word. I would get beaten just to say I can't do something. Yes, can't is a bad word. So, I realized the trick to it is to ask for help. If my father asked me to do something, and I would say, uh, I need some help to do it. I would get the help. But if I said, can't do it, he says, can't shut me down from thinking about the possibilities of how I can achieve it. What are your dreams that you're looking at today? How can I transform my community? It's not about when I was growing up, I hear about sticks and stones and break my bones, but words will never hurt me. But that's a lie. Words are more powerful than sticks and stones. How many persons are here today? How many of you have heard somebody said something negative about you and you still remember it up to today? Yes. You still remember that negative up to the day. And some of the times when you're going to do something, you say, hey, can I really do it? You say, yes, you're going to say, wait, can I really do it? Yes. Say, wait, really do it? And a voice will come and say, remember Miss Jones, say you can't do it, you know. And you do that yourself. I remember when I decided it's not easy. You see, some of the times I like to talk about me. I like to talk about me because I've been through a lot of challenges. It's not easy to be a superhero. When I was growing up, I wanted to be Spider-Man because, as I said, in your community, you're watching all these cartoons. And you want to be a savior. You want to be the good guy. You want to be the good guy, right? Everybody wants to be the good guy. So I wanted to be Spider-Man. It didn't work. I was afraid for spiders to fight me. No way to look up. That I wanted to be Superman. But I couldn't fly, man. I tried that thing. But I said, no, I'm not going to go on a roof and try to jump off. Man, that one looked so dangerous. I was trying to jump off the ground, get the paper, and do the work. Then, one day 
I was minding my own business. And I heard, I wanted to be taught for I can. I said, Captain, who? What's that? I want you to go around the world and tell people never to fuck people. 